my name is Jennifer. Uh, I'm a project manager with Four Rivers Environmental Services Group. We're located in Thunder Bay. Uh, my area of focus at Four Rivers would be community engagement, GIS support, uh, building GIS capacity, and um, helping communities document their Indigenous knowledge and traditional values. Metawa First Nations Management is a tribal council. It was established in 1988 and it has nine member First Nations. So five of these First Nations are all um, located remote Northern Ontario. The other four communities, they're accessible via the provincial highway network. Metawa has a membership of over 10,000 people and um, their homelands and traditional territory cover an area about 180,000 square kilometers, which is bigger than the country of Ireland. Uh, the word Matawa, so our name, it's an abbreviation of the Cree word Mama Matawa, which is the means um, where many rivers come together. So even the name of our organization has to do with water. Same with my department, Four Rivers. So we're also um, named after the four major rivers that are flowing into the homelands. Um, from Hudson and James Bay's. When we talk to our community members, they all they all talk about um, the river networks, and that's really how the nine communities are um, connected historically. And I mean, currently, they a lot of people refer to the rivers as the highways of the past, and that's how they they came to you know um, be together or to meet and gather. Over and over and over again, we hear the messaging that uh, water is life. It's super, super important, and it's always a topic of discussion. So the watershed map that's being featured in the calendar is, uh, it shows kind of all of Northern Ontario and specifically the nine Matau communities and then the watersheds that are within um, the Matau homelands and traditional territory. Maps are one of our most effective ways of communicating really anything with our community members. So. Uh, especially this map shows the water kind of more in a generalized way in relation to the community. So it's, it's just a strong um, tool that we have for communication. And when we have a hard copy paper map, especially when we're doing a large community gathering or a workshop with all of our communities attending, um, there's just something about having a static paper map that people gather around, they tell stories, they share knowledge. The watershed map, I don't honestly remember why we specifically originally created it, probably in 2014. Um, I'm guessing it was uh, a community member probably had a request for a specific watershed that they wanted to show on a map. And then we thought, oh, this is this would be great to have a, a more regional level map for everyone to use. In this iteration, we've added um, Ojibwe syllabics. For this map, we started with um, just translating the community names, the title of the map and the watersheds. But I'd like to, I'd really like to expand that in the future. For what's next for this map in particular, I think what we're um, aiming to do this spring and hopefully launch in the summer of 2022 is a web map version of this. So something a little bit more interactive that the communities can kind of customize the view and maybe add other layers. We would host this probably on our website to start and then also um, on our GeoHub. So that's something that's also currently under development. So we're hoping that those will be launched soon and we'll have some interactive web maps or web applications that the communities can use to kind of customize how they're using maps in general.